Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 35 at the Stade de la Beaujoie, where Paris Saint Germain claimed victory over Nantes on Sunday night to go top of the Ligue 1 table. Edinson Cavani put the Capital Club ahead in just the third minute. That's his 13th goal of the campaign. And the returning Zlatan Ibrahimovic then set up Blaise Matuidi on the half hour mark to make it 2 0. Goal number three for the French international. 2 0, it finished. Well, Leon remained three points off the pace after seeing off Evian on Saturday. Come on, Grenier with a wicked direct free kick in the 21st minute. That's his first league on goal since January 2014. He's been plagued with injuries this season. And Leon were then awarded a penalty as Danny Nunca's boot connected with Corentin Tolisso's face. And Alexandre Lacazette making absolutely no mistake. Goal number 27 for Ligue 1's leading goal scorer. And that was a comfortable 2-0 win. Well, Monaco have all but wrapped up third place in the table after cruising to victory over Toulouse. Bernardo Silva put them ahead in the ninth minute. That's his eighth goal of the campaign. Although Toulouse hit back quickly on the counter-attack. Oscar Trejo feeding Martin Braithwaite shortly before the half-hour mark. So Basic could perhaps have done better there. But Monaco had a chance to restore their lead on the stroke of half-time as Anthony Martial was brought down by Trejo in the area. Marcel himself stepping up to take the penalty. Sweeping past Ali Ahamada for 2-1. His ninth of the season. And ten minutes after the restart, it was 3-1. Andrea Raggi crossing in for Jean Martinho with a rare-headed goal. That just his third of the campaign. And there was even time for substitute Valer Germain to grab a fourth. Just after coming off the bench, Martinho with the assist, and that was a 4-1 to Monaco. Now Marseille are finally back to winning ways after a miserable run of four straight defeats. Andre Pierre Gignac grabbed his 100th goal in Ligue 1 to put them 1-0 up away to Metz. And the French international then combined brilliantly with Dimitri Payet for goal at number 101 in the second half. A lovely one-two, Gignac onside, and a cool finish over Anthony Umfa. That wrapping up a 2-0 win for Marcelo Bielsa's men. Well, Saint Etienne's Champions League hopes were dealt a knockout blow as they were beaten by Bastia at Furiani. The only goal of the game arrived in the 84th minute. Gael Danik pulling back brilliantly here for Floyd Aite. 1-0, and Bastia all but safe. Bordeaux remained four points behind Liver in sixth after being held to a goalless draw in Lorient. The hosts went closest through their captain at Wesley Latoa, denied here by Cedric Carrasso. And Bordeaux could have stolen all three points at the death through Diego Roland, who stabbed that one just wide. Nil-nil and Lorient at two points above the drop zone. And also finished goalless at La Mosson, where Kevin Berrigo had an early chance for Montpellier at home to Rennes. The visitors went closest as Paul George and Tep saw his effort rebounded out of Vitorino Hilton. This one also ending 0 0. That leaves Montpellier 7th and Ren 9th. There was little but pride at stake in the northern derby between Lille and Lens at the Stade Pierre Mauroy. Visitors Lens took the lead on 24 minutes through Pablo Chavaria. But Sofiane Bouffal equalised for Lille before half time as he converted this penalty. And the hosts then went ahead through Gibril Sidibe. This perhaps wasn't the prettiest goal of the weekend, but they do all count. Sidibe picking the ball up here in the area, getting away from two lost defenders before sweeping home in the 74th minute. And having had their relegation already confirmed on Saturday night, Lance's misery was complete in injury time as Divock Origi added a third for Lille. 3-1 and Lille Certainly the Kings in the north. Claudio Beauvieu gave Gangon the lead at home to Ras. Goal number 15 this season for a man who may well be on his way to the Premier League this summer. And 
Gangor even had time to add a second goal at the death. This time at Christoph Mann, down with a cheeky finish over the keeper. Back to Sill, a 2-0 win. Gangon safe and Rass in trouble. And finally, Nice and Caen shared the spoils at the Alliance Riviera. The visitors went in front as Bangli Fode Koita headed into the path of Nicolas Beneze. Lovely finish over the keeper. But Nice equalised shortly before half-time. Eric Botiak with a long ball to the back post. A lovely touch from Alassane player for Carlos Eduardo. Brazilian with his 10th goal of the campaign. 1-1 the final score. So all the results from week 35 with 20 goals scored. Over half of them on Sunday alone. Wins for Marseille and PSG on the road. And for Lyon and Monaco at home. Three points still separate PSG and Lyon at the top of the table. Monaco are six further back in third place, but now five points clear of Marseille and Saint-Étienne. And with sixth place likely to become European, there is still a plenty to play for. Lance the first side to be officially relegated from Ligue 1, though Metz will likely be joining them soon. And it's looking like a five-team scrap between Caen, Lorient, Toulouse, Reims and Evian to avoid the drop. Now PSG get week 36 underway against Gangon before Lyon head to Caen on Saturday afternoon. There's then a huge relegation battle between Evian and Reims on Saturday evening. Marseille and Monaco round things out on Sunday night. <laughs>